What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at it again with another Copart walk around over at Yard 18, located at 2829 Southeast 15th Street here in Dell City, Oklahoma. I'm gonna jump right into this. Number one on my list, listed as mechanical damage with a clean title and some really bad paint. A 2003 Mercedes-Benz CLK 320. I actually like the body style. I think it's a clean car. Well, okay. Aside from, aside from all of this, all of this is not good. Um, but that can be taken care of. That's that's not a huge deal. I'm not sure what the miles is on it. It says no odometer. It also says it doesn't run. Now, now it might run. We're going to find out here in just a second if it does run. But it does say it's a non-runner. Hmm. Okay, it looks like it was underwater for a while. I, I don't know. Flat tire. Man, with a new paint job though, the body's great, guys. The body is in really good shape. Toyo tire on the back looks good. Then we've got some uh, fusion tire on the front. Clear coat, gone. Fusion tire on the front. Hopefully we've at least got a no. A Toyo on the back? No. So it's just a, a bunch of mismatched, bunch of mismatched tires on here. So that's that's not a good sign. Let's uh, take a look at the interior, right? The interior actually looks really good in this. It's pretty clean. How's the headliner? Looks good. Sunroof looks good. Smells okay. This isn't bad, guys. This isn't bad at all. The auto spa could put a good detail on this, make this thing look a ton better. Now I'm going to bet, I'm gonna bet that the battery's dead. And a lot of times, depending on who's checking in these cars, okay, so yeah, you can't even, you can't even do anything with that, you know what I mean? So depending on who's checking in these cars, they may not know how to jumpstart them. Uh, Mercedes are kind of finicky, guys. It's, it's, it's one of those cars, man, that, uh, Oh, you're not even, it's not even open all the way. One of the hood latches is stuck on the passenger side. So let's attempt to free it. There we go. Generally, there's not going to be a jump point. Oh my God, that's heavy. There is a jump point. Da -da -da -dum. Okay, I was going to say, generally on Mercedes, you're not going to find a jump point under here, but you do. We've got a positive there and a negative there, so... Why don't we throw the booster pack on it and see if it cranks, see if it makes any weird noises. You know, let's find out what she's doing. All right. Let's see if we get anything going on inside here at all. It should be lit up, and it is. 144,000 miles on the odometer. 99 degrees Fahrenheit. The key does turn on. And it runs. It runs. Guys, this is listed as a non-runner for mechanical damage. And it runs. We do have an SRS airbag light. Oh, we've got lots of... Lots of... Oh, shit handles. Okay. That's... Oh, come on. Okay, well, she's just going to sit there. I am going to turn the air conditioner on. And see if we get any, uh, get any ice cold air, man. Whoo, it's warm. All right, so we've got it on cold air. Let's turn it on. Vent and... Turn the blower on a little bit. Turn on recirculate as well. It actually runs really well, guys. She's running really, really well. It feels like we might have cold... Yes, we have cold air conditioning. Okay. So... Looks like that sun visor back there is not functioning. Nope. This window does not appear to work probably why it's got tape on it. Nope, it does work. It's just the master switch. Okay. All right. 
Whew. These are not on. Golly, man. Damn Mercedes, man. Always making things complicated, guys. There we go. Now these vents are on. Now that's better. That's better. We got heated seats. Does the radio work? I guess that's the next question. Yes? All right, the radio works. Eric, like, guys, everything is working great on us. Put it in gear. Goes backwards. And it goes forwards. <laughs> Does this window work? This window has not worked. Somebody has been up in here for something. I don't know what the deal is. Or maybe these are just prone to falling off. It seems like the window switch here is bad because it's not working any of the windows, but you could probably manually... No, that window's not working either. This is probably one best to stay away from. Ah, oh, I see, somebody's had the headliner down in this is what they did. See, the handles are all taken off from up here. So somebody's had the headliner down in this for some reason. I wonder if it had something to do with the sunroof. Oh no. Well, we'll figure that out here in a minute. I'll try to get I'll try to get that closed. Okay, anyway, cold air seems like it runs and drives. 144,000 miles. The only warning light on is the airbag. Let's give it a little gas. She seems, she seems to run well. I don't see any warning lights yet. No check engine light other than the airbag. This thing probably runs and drives just fine, guys. I'll bet it does. All right, so this is a contender. Does power seat work? No, power seats don't work either. Interesting. Neither do the power mirrors. Okay, so... We may have a blown fuse, we may have multiple blown fuses, but that window does work. The rest of them don't seem to work. The sunroof is now stuck. I am going to sit here and jiggle this a while, and hopefully, if I jiggle it enough, we can get this thing to come down, and we're going to move on to the next one. But before we go to the next one, I wanted to make sure you guys could see I got it closed. Uh, it just took a little bit of jiggling, and that's the case with a lot of these buttons, man. A lot of buttons in these older cars, they're, they're a little, you know, sticky. Gotta, gotta work them a little bit. Sunroof is closed. Now we can move on to the next one. Next on my list is an 05 Tundra that uh, I had no choice but to come show you guys this because I, I, don't, I don't think you're gonna believe what somebody did to this truck. I don't. Number one, the paint job. This is spray painted. The body is wavy everywhere. Like there is not a panel on this truck that is straight. It's got a big chrome exhaust tip. It's got a blue wheel here. And it's got a regular colored wheel there. Okay. Somebody, I think, tried to fix this dent with cement. Um, I'm pretty sure this is this is cement or clay. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, the bed looks like it looks... It, I don't even want to say it because it ain't right. It looks like a lot of loads have been dumped in this bad boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well used and heavily abused. Blue wheel on this side as well. Again, with the bent panels everywhere. Um, all of the glass back here is pretty much gone, busted out, missing. Somebody obviously pried the door open here with some kind of a crowbar or something. Uh, oh, and we have a black wheel here. So you have a black wheel, a factory colored wheel, and I think one or two blue wheels. Next, the interior. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I'm going to get, I feel like I'm going to catch a, a disease just standing this close. It looks like, I think someone either vomited massively or crapped all over here. I am not 
touching any of this. Like, look at this. Okay, it is all down the seat. This is... I've seen some bad stuff, guys. I've seen some bad stuff. This is one of the worst I have ever seen. Like, ever. You got shag carpet up in here. There's a, a, a tail light. There's some duct tape. Oh, wow. Oh, but where's Rich Rebuilds? Black ice, baby. Black ice. Does this thing run? Surely it doesn't run. Surely it does. Oh, there's, there ain't no key. Yeah, it doesn't run. There's no key. But the crazy thing is, is it's got power because it shows that the door is open. <laughs> I can't even begin to imagine what happened to this truck. But I definitely want to see what the engine looks like, man. If this thing is this bad, and I don't even know if I can get over here, I'm going to try. Oh, wow. Okay. So the, the grill is not really on there either. Oh, good. Oh, wow. The battery has fallen into the engine bay. All right. This is all just laying here. The hood does stay up, though. We'll pull this battery back just to prevent any problems because it does it does seem to have some charge to it spider webs all over the radiator and the radiator is dry as a bone i'm just curious does it even have any oil in it it does she's got oil god it's too bad this doesn't have a key i would absolutely try to start this thing up i really would it, this is too much guys this this right here i i'm guessing someone either gave it to their kid or some kid bought it as a first car and i i, I don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know what they did to it but whatever here it is sitting in a car park. wouldn't it suck if this is a dealer car a dealer did like an in-house financing program and when they finally got the car back, this is what it looked like. Crazy. All right, guys. Let's move on to the next one. Next on my list is something very special, guys. Something that I'm, I'm truly surprised to see here. And occasionally in Oklahoma, you get some cool stuff like this. This is a 1966 Austin Healey 3000 Mark III. All right. Look at the Goodyear tires. Look at the spokes. Isn't this a beautiful car right here, guys? Look at that. It's even got brand new tires, it looks like, on the back. You got side pipes coming out right here. Look at this, little side pipes. You still have the stickers on the tires, guys. Nanking Tire CX686, 16580R15s. Wow. You've got a beautiful soft top that's definitely seen some weather, but still looks like it's in relatively good shape. The body looks good. The, I, I want to call it chrome, but I don't know if it's actually chrome or not. The, the, whatever you call it, the polished stuff, the bright stuff, it all looks good. Looks real good. This window's obviously either missing or, oh, there's boxes of stuff in here. Ooh, ooh. I want to see. I want to see. What do we got? We got a, a dashboard, a dash pad, I should say. We've got lots of, uh, we got calendars, books, lots of books, owner's manuals. Yeah, lots of good stuff in here, guys. Lots of good stuff. Door card looks to be in good shape. This thing overall is actually in really good shape i want to push that back in boy i don't want it to get wet this is beautiful guys i i uh i love it i love it i love it oh lord have mercy help me help me tell me not to do it how do you open the damn hood 
All right. Looks like the hood opens from somewhere, probably backwards, knowing these old cars. Let me get down here and... Oh, she doesn't look too bad under here. She looks like she's been sitting a while. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is a classic, classic car, man. Not your typical old school car, right? It's listed as a start. Boy, those doors swing open wide, too. That dashboard, or the dash pad, I should say. The key is in it. I wonder if it's got juice. Should we try it? Of course we should try it, guys. We have to. We have to. No! Oh, crap! Uh... Well, that shifter don't feel good, guys, I can tell you that. The clutch, clutch pedal works, but it's like non-existent. Brakes feel strong, throttle moves freely, but it seems like you can go down and up. Ugh. Yeah, something's wrong with that shifter. That's gonna be a push button start, I imagine. Yeah. We got an Austin Healey key ring right there. Temperature, cold air, choke. We got nice little gauges here. The only problem is, is this top up? Wow, this top needs some serious adjustment. <laughs> Look at that play in the steering, golly. Oh, the door about killed me. I about got hit in the face with a winch, with a side window, guys. Okay, so it is listed as a runner. Boy, this wiring in here looks kind of, kind of old, guys. Kind of old. I was hoping to find some kind of a release lever because I really do want to pop the, uh, I really do want to pop the hood. I would love to hear this thing run. Oh, well. Ooh, gross. Uh, you may be in luck. Because there's the battery. And it looks like it's all hooked up. Let's put some juice to it. Let's see if we can get her to crank over, guys. So we have all of the old carpet here. It looks like we've got another type of cover there as well. But there is a, uh, a battery disconnect right here. You can actually turn it off and turn it on so the battery oops sorry i hit the camera there the battery's got juice i went ahead and put my booster pack on it just for good measure i am because i can't really tell what gear this thing is in here uh i'm gonna push the clutch in i can't honestly guys i can't tell there we go oh the transmission is rough so that is neutral oh come on Wow. Oh, yeah. The clutch is no, uh, yeah. So the tranny is probably good. Yeah. Okay, we're not going to do that again. There is no clutch. Clutch does absolutely nothing. You got all your lights, headlights, panel lights. Wipers, overdrive. I'm surprised it's actually sitting here idling this well. She's running very well. Gas gauge works. Oil pressure seems a little low. It's only got about 12 pounds. Let's give it a little throttle. Look at this, how cute. No power steering, of course. There's some extra stuff in the glove box there. Springs and assorted things. What a fun little car, guys. This thing is just... 
it's tiny. Oh wow, you should feel the pressure coming out of here, guys. Woo! She's a mover and a groover, guys. I sure wish I could figure out how to pop this hood. I would love for you guys to be able to see it. Is it some kind of functional? No, nothing. Well, unfortunately guys, I don't have time to sit here and, and play with this car and try to figure out, look, the headlights are on, parking lights are on. I would love to pop the hood, unfortunately. Like I said, I just don't have time to sit here and try to figure out where the damn hood release is on this. I could Google it, but like I said, Copart is the day I come out here to look at what's on the list, and uh, I don't have a whole lot of time for things to go wrong. This is wild. Tail lights are lit up. Look at this. Look at that. I'm not gonna lie guys, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Probably needs a slave cylinder and definitely gonna need the uh, the clutch bled. But aside from that, this thing is this thing is effing awesome man. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it fired up so easily. It really did. I think if you get that clutch issue sorted out, man. Turn those lights off and shut this down. Okay, she dieseled a little bit. No biggie. I'm gonna look one more time under here for a hood release. But for life of me, guys, I don't see anything under here that resembles even remotely a hood release. Yeah, I don't see anything, guys. Okay, hey, regardless, that was totally cool. Ooh, what the hell? Things are falling out of it, guys. I'm gonna put that back in there just because it's gonna fall out again, but I'm gonna put it back in there anyway. This thing's this thing is cool. This thing is cool. I, I may have to keep my eyes on this, guys. I don't know. I don't know what something like this goes for. It looks like it'd be expensive, but this one is uh, you know, she's gonna need some work. This would be a perfect addition to AAR headquarters, man. It really would. Let's move on to the next one. Next on my list, uh, a 2008 Audi A4. This is the S line. Severe hail damage. Because I had to look at it because truthfully, the price on this thing right now is like 500 bucks. And I'm like, okay, depending on how bad the hail damage is, I might just be interested in it. So I thought it had severe hail damage, judging by this giant hole. And the wind just is huge, guys. This is this hole is like the size of my hand. All right, and there's another one right up there that didn't actually go through. So I'm thinking this thing's gonna be this thing's gonna be bad. But I'm looking at it, and aside from the paint being just scratch all the hell, this side looks perfect. Man, that paint is bad. I bet the auto spot could really bring it out. This side's got some minor damage. I wouldn't call this too severe though. There's a good size ding here. A good size ding here. The sunroof is still intact. There's a pretty good ding there. And is that it? A couple minor dings here and there, but this is crazy, guys. This is crazy. She looks to be in great shape. We've got Valera Sport AS. Is that a full set? Looks like it. This side are Valera Sport ASs. And on this side we have, yes, Valera Sport and Valera Sport. 178,000 miles. So she does have some miles on her, which means the interior is probably coming apart. Whoop. Okay, Christine. Try to take off my finger. Uh, you know, not bad. Not bad. This goes back on. That's not that hard. It doesn't smell that. Oh, it's a manual. This is a manual. I didn't even realize that. Oh, okay. Game changer. Game changer. Although this is... A, come on now. What is with this car trying to close the doors on me? Ooh, black leather interior. 100 degrees. Oh, this is going to be hot. Woo! Okay, let's put the key in. 
service. Of course. Oh. The shifter feels decent. That didn't sound healthy. Guys, I think it just popped a timing belt. I'm not even joking. I think the timing may have just slipped. This is a running, driving car, guys. At least it was till I got here. Oh, there. Ooh. Boy, let's turn some of this on, right? It's got heat on. Maybe this thing hasn't been started in a long time. It may have ethanol in it, you know what I mean? Woo! Air conditioning. Hopefully the AC works in this. Lord have mercy, this is bad. All right, so... We'll let that try to cool off for a minute, see what it does, make sure it's not in gear, take my foot off the clutch. This window works. That window works. Look at that hole. I mean, my goodness. And this one right here too is no joke, man. Like these are literally, these are huge. AC does work, by the way, it does. Tire pressure monitor, probably a headlight out. Let's give it a little throttle. All right, she seems to be running okay. She's not particularly happy, but she is running all right. Let's pop the hood, if we can find the dadgum hood release. There we go, hood is popped. Why that air feels nice. I'm not gonna close this door all the way. I'm always terrified these cars are gonna lock themselves on. Let's see what things are looking like under the hood. Uh, zip ties holding the coils on because someone didn't put the, the screws back in. Okay, well, that gives you a pretty good indication of the service. Are you serious? What the? Hey, you can see the screws are missing. It, the valve cover is leaking oil. She's leaking oil pretty good. There's your turbo down there. She's honestly not running the best. Th this car is rough, guys. Man, that's unfortunate. Because I actually really like it. And it's going really, really cheap right now. Yeah, guys, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna pass on this one, man. The engine just doesn't look like she, ooh. Oh, man. Ah, uh, poor old school Chevy, man. God, I hate seeing these old school trucks like this. I really do, that sucks. Can we get in the trunk? No, we cannot get into the trunk either. Okay, this car is begging me not to buy it. That's basically what's happening here. She's. She's begging me not to buy it. Let's go ahead and put it in gear. Give her a chance. Clutch feels strong. Real strong. Oh, yeah. And I killed it. That's all right. She fired right up that time, though. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Audi needs some Viagra. <laughs> that ain't good. That, <laughs> golly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh, poor Audi. Guys. She's not a bad looking car by any stretch of the imagination. She's really not. But uh, I'm telling you, just looking at that engine, I can tell it hasn't been taken care of, man. It hasn't. And uh, probably a ticking time bomb for me. So we're going to 
walk away. Bye bye, Audi. Last on my list, a Honda Ridgeline. I think it's like a 2007. 305,000 miles, guys. Like, no joke. No joke. 300. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> well, that's what I get. That's what I get. That sucks. Uh, I didn't look through all the pictures. I didn't I didn't see the damage. Man. I still got to check it out anyway though. I mean, we're already here. This is this is interesting cuz I've heard a lot of people I actually thought about buying a Ridgeline when I was first looking at trucks that I could be moving cars around with, and I thought, "Hey, Hondas are like notorious for their reliability." And I thought a Ridgeline would be like kind of a crossover between a car and a truck. I thought it'd be perfect. And then Thank you to all of you that saved me from making that mistake. Um, I found out the Ridgeline is basically a Honda Accord uh, with a bed. And now, now I really see it. I've looked at a few of them, but I never really paid much attention. Now that I've seen it wrecked, you can actually see the ripple effect through the bed and up into the C-pillar here. There's no bed, guys. There's no bed. This isn't like a truck where you, you know, typically... If you'd had this kind of damage on a pickup truck, like, you know, an old Chevy, a Ford, a Dodge, whatever, a t uh, Toyota, you could Nissan. You could literally just unbolt the bed, throw it off, and put a new bed on, and you'd be good to go. But now I really see it. Like, now that it's wrecked, now I get it. It's rippled all the way into the pillar coming up here. This whole quarter is basically the quarter panel of a car. Oh, that door doesn't, that door does nothing anymore. Yeah, I could totally see how that sucks. And if I remember correctly, the transmission in these were not known to be the most reliable, right? Ooh. Whew. Oh, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> it, it looks so clean. It smells like something died in here. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. I... <laughs> I... I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it. It's so clean. It's so clean. I expected it was going to smell really good. Guys, it doesn't smell really good. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Well, now that we got that out of the way, let me see if I can pop this hood. And the hood doesn't want to pop. The hood is being a, a real... <sighs> yeah, okay. Oh boy. I'm wondering if there's some kind of like maybe there's something rotting in here, rotten food or or something cuz it it smells so bad. I don't see any godly. Somebody leave their hamburger in the glove box or something. Oh wow. Okay. Well. Ah. Uh, Jeez. Whew. I, I still got to give the old girl credit, though. She made it 305,000 miles. I mean, I, you can't say that about many cars today, guys. You really can't. I am going to make an attempt to start this one up just because I'm dying to hear it, Ron. You can see nobody's even been in here. The key hasn't been touched yet. Looks like it's dead as a doornail. And it is dead as a doornail. Let me put a jump on it, see what a 300,000 mile Honda run was like. All right, I'm doing this for you guys, taking one for the team. Wow. wow she actually runs very well. AC is ice cold immediately. Power steering. Oh, wow. This is worn out underneath. Not bad. The only lights that I see on, the only warning lights are VTM4, which I'm assuming is something to do with four-wheel drive, and a TPMS light. Wow. Wow. 
This is crazy. Ooh, she stumbled. I had a little rough there for a minute. I'm not sure what the VTM4, I'm assuming that has something to do with this button right here, which is like, what, a differential lock? Which does not seem to be doing anything at all. Okay, guys. You know what the problem is? I know why it's stumbling. That battery is so dead. It's trying to live off of my booster pack here. Yeah, when she stumbles, the voltage drops considerably. It's just gonna take a little while to charge that battery up, but because I don't wanna kill my booster pack, I'm gonna go ahead and shut her off. Disconnect these. If it dies, it dies. But hopefully this will give it a, hopefully this will give her a little time to charge up that battery so the next person that comes out here and wants to look at it doesn't have to deal with a dead battery. I don't think so, guys. Boy, oh, she's pissed. She's pissed. Yeah. All right, I'm going to close the hood, assuming it'll let me. All right. I don't have any more time to sit here and play with this. So, unfortunately, that means the battery's probably going to be dead again. I tried, people. I tried. Yep, dead as a doornail. All right, guys, that's the end. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my Copart walk around. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to Copart for allowing us to come out here and make these videos. If you enjoyed the content, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, let YouTube know you liked it. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Auto Auction Rebuilds. Until next time. Stay, stay, blip, blip, stay, I can't win. Stay safe out there, buddy. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.